You ready? <coughs> it's time to kick off the nuts Ugh. award videos. <laughs> Happy sure. New Year's Eve. Hopefully that's correct. So you'll find out when you edit it. People might watch it on New Year's Eve. We'll find out. Probably not. Today's going to be the worst. Nope. Biggest letdown. Scratch. The biggest disappointments of the year. The biggest disappointments to in whiskey us. of 2020 yeah, that's, 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 to the bourbon junkies. Yep. Yeah. Nailed it. You know what? Today, we got to talk about something. Your Walmart hoodie? No. No. This is a great... It's not a hoodie, okay. first off. It's a collared... F flannel. Flannel. Play the music. Today's video is sponsored and brought to you by intothealm.com slash bourbon junkies. Whoa, bam You know what I mean? I mean... Mm. So I was very excited when they dropped this graphic. This is too graphic, also. Mm. Uh, I love owls. Me so, too. So much. I got them tattooed all over my body. They just, for real, just dropped a whole nother new like five graphic hoodies when yep. you're watching this video. So if you want a graphic, graphic hoodie, teeth. get your graphic tee. That's what I meant to say four times in a I row. I know, but I thought you're gonna come around to it. We I thought you this. knew something I didn't know. I don't, and I didn't. You get. A discount if you use intotheam.com slash bourbon junkies on the whole store. So go check them out. Yeah. They're literally, literally the best. Okay. Hey, before you watch this video and we tell you the whiskey's you don't like, like and comment and then subscribe. But in the comments, yeah. put the thing that we missed on the list after you watch it. Or the thing you disagree with the most. N nope. Don't be hateful in the comments. But do like and do like and subscribe really because you. it's weird because those things are free for you and they help us a lot. It does. And they take like literally a second you're already watching the video. It's already yeah. below the video. Just try it. Just try it one time. If it feels good, do it every time. If it doesn't, it will. Okay. Let's get into our video. We already told the people what we're doing. I'm going to kick it off. Thank That's you. what I was going to say. Okay. No, I'm on board. Go ahead. Now, number one. Now, Sean and I have slightly different lists. So this is a top 10-ish. Can you put that hand down? Nope. Are you going to catch it then? No, do you catch, you throw your bottle to yourself. Jeez, old pizza, I thought you going to throw it in my face. Elijah, Craig, straight right. So the reason we're disappointed in some of these whiskeys is value, right? The reason we're disappointed in some of these whiskeys is because, because we absolutely, I just got an accent out of nowhere. Some of them we don't like now. We had high expectations for some of these and they let us down. Those why are usually the prerequisites as to why we don't like them. I'm gonna kick this off. A little Elijah Craig Rye. Elijah Craig Rye, straight rye. Straight rye. Had high hopes for it. Yeah. It's not great. Even at the price point where it, what, 35 or something like yes. that? Yes. I'd rather pick up Old Forester Rye any day of the week. Yo, so that part's not even remotely close. I agree. Yeah. I want. I want this experience to be the same experience that you have when you drink a normal like so? Craig project. Project. This is gonna be a long video. Huh? Stroking out Got both of us. Give us the barrel proof version of this product. I bet it'll be great. Expectations were a little high, maybe. Yeah. It is like a thirty-ish dollar bottle, but bottle number two after the Elijah Craig Rye is clearly what I like to call the Larceny B five twenty. We loved A one twenty. Yeah. This is like good. we came in, we're like, dude, they are. Yeah, Tear an ass through the the price range of a nice barrel proof weeder. True. It was like, yeah, that's amazing. If they continue to put out A120 quality, yeah. this is gonna be one of the best things on the shelf. Yes. B520 came out, and it is just nuts. Mr. Peanut shit. Just nuts. Only nuts. Uh, I'm drastically less excited about C now because of B. A was good and so much better than normal larceny. This, I don't even know if this is better than normal larceny for me at this point. It isn't. I just don't like it at all. No. It just, this borderline's Dickel, and it's Heaven Hill, which is weird. We never even shot a video on this because we paid a lot of money for this, and I said, I refuse to just put out a snuff film on a bottle. <laughs> Gorgeous bottle. Dude, kill Amazing it. cord. Clean AF. You got some fiddly bits up here. Yeah. Just looking fantastic. She looks Unfortunately, sultry. Unfortunately. She looks sensual. This bottle could talk you into spending some money at a bar. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like $100. You're going to drink it, huh? Oh, my. Now that Sin. this is Sin. such a good cork. Don't do that. I don't know where it's from. <laughs> it's so pretty. Very gorgeous bottle. Very like pretty. the whole thing is great. Very expensive. But it's $120 and we hated it. I'm gonna be honest. Like it, it's offensive. I didn't I I fell in love with this bottle. So Not that I'm much. gonna take a drink. Okay. Fair is fair. Godspeed. We gotta drink it if we don't like it. No, that's not how that works. Well, that's a good drink too. Good on you there, laddie. How is it? I've had, I've had worse. I just 
worse on the table. Oh. On to the next Think one. Lab. Yeah, Think Lab. This, this is batch two, I think, of their series. But <laughs> Such a pretty bottle. Anyways, I'd say amongst one of our worst whiskeys uh, in released in 2020. Right now, yeah. It's the Hirsch Horizon. Horizon. The Hirsch that we came to know and love when we were young. Into our, our bourbon journey was that. This is very good. It's and now 46%. This is like 40 something. That was like 40 or 50. It's heinous. It's one of, now, obviously not the same mash bill as this one. I feel like that's a double dagger for us that we were like so in it yep. on the, the beginning. And then we get that, and it's just awful. This is, you know, this is still MGP, right? Yeah, what? It's still in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. So next bottle is, we'll save the big boys for last. Man. The one I was so excited to see, and I was so excited to find. Ones? Nope, it's empty. Okay, so we had the Smell limited that. 2018. Yeah. Amazing. So good. I think we paid like 104, like 100, 105 dollars. Yeah, right? like low hundreds. It was amazing. Um, it was so good though. It's finished it in amazing. port or something. This is the 2020 version. They redid the bottle. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Looks great. Mm -hmm. um, this one was $120. It's so nutty now. <sighs> you remove the jelly and now it's like peanuts and cinnamon. And it's yeah. so weird. It's like the worst parts of like Heaven Hill thrown into a bottle. Yeah, it feels that way. It does feel that way. Yeah. Do we need to say anything more about this? And we, nope. I'm gonna flip it. See what happens. Do it. You won't. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh. All right. I can't believe that decanter top. See, this is not a cork, by the way, if you're wondering. This is a glass decanter top that just rests yep. inside of here. <laughs> I went for it. This was one of... Uh, we thought it was going to be so good. This is Angel's Envy Mizunara Finish Limited Edition Crystal Decantered. The whole deal came in a gorgeous box. With I mean, it is a gorgeous bottle, too. It's got that nice wink It's a legit there. crystal it's decanter. Just great shape. It's going to be in a perfect infinity bottle someday. Yeah, so this That's was... That's about the end of it. This was Angel's um, second limited product this year. First one being the Tawny Port. And we, we loved it. Very yeah, much like... Now, all their limiters are, are super expensive. The Sherry was yeah, 200, 200 the Tawny Port was 250 The Angel's cast strengths are always 200 with for the yeah. Oloroso the year before. Yeah, so, so they're all super expensive, but not that they're all worth the price, but they're good. Yeah. This was three set, three hundred and seventy dollars or something out the door, and it's by far it's easily the worst Angels product I've ever had. A lot of people said the 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 Mizunura finish you have to do for a very long time, sure, to get like, the benefits. Yeah, to get the benefits of the wood. Yeah, and two years apparently is not enough. Well, there's four year whiskey and nine year whiskey blended together in here. Yep. Now. And it rests for two years when, in the Mizunura. Is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. So why in the world is there a $370 bottle of whiskey that is gotcha. nine years old? Gotcha. That's insane. It's awful. Needless to say, this is honestly one of the releases when I saw it was coming out. I was like, we got to get one. Yeah. I was on their site for two hours refreshing the page. Yeah. The, the internet crashed for like their, four hours. Yeah. Their site crashed. I was trying so hard. I got one. Sean missed. Thank God. Sean was trying to get one too. Thank God he didn't. Do you think Klein switched the whiskey in the bottle? Probably. 100%, right? Yeah, what's he got in there? He's never Dickle. told us yet. Dickel. Smells like it. Yeah. He did, I bet. Really? Next one. This one actually hurts my heart the mm -hmm. most. Out of everything on this table, this is the sad one. Yep. Cue the sad music. All right. Sad violin. Going. We're only doing sad music through this, this part. We've never ever on this channel said a bad word about an old Forrester product before. Until right now. And it's because the Old Force 150th was our most the, sought after. The build up. The, Just, our most looked forward to bottle of the whole year. This is batch one. And it just, it doesn't taste like Old Forster. We like batch three a lot yep. more. Batch three won the, the blind that we did with them yeah. hands down. Like yep. we didn't even have to retry that one. Right. It's the only one we liked. Batch one is the one that we got first. And we're like, mm. dude, what is this? Yep. What What's happening? Sad days. That, how much are these, 150? Yep. $150 Old Forester. Doesn't compete anywhere near the realm of birthday bourbon, the President's Choice. Like, yep. that that's what it should be. The new that, barrel proof store picks that are true. 80, that are half the price. Sad days. Get um, out of here. Get the sad music out of here. <sighs> Not Creek 15. I don't agree with it. This is where Sean and I were. Uh, okay. No, so, well, kind of. So, this one for me, they, they did a lot of 14 15 year store picks tons which are 120 proof yep amazing and 50 bucks 50 maybe 60 
This one was 125 or something 100, like that. 100 to 120 bucks. Yeah. 15 so it was years. More than the expensive. 100 proof. But blended. Okay. So in theory. Mm -hmm. Now here my here my uh, so theory. Almost... The Weller. Now it is a different proof, so it's a little bit different. But the Weller okay. full proofs. Yep. We like the blended version. We do. More than the single barrel. Yep. So my hope here. I'm not saying it was Matt, but my hope with this was. Well, it's blended. Yeah. So maybe consistency. They did an higher, incredible yeah. job of blending because yep. that will make the whiskey different. And maybe they pulled out a bunch of cool stuff that wasn't there in a single. It's not bad whiskey. That's not my my, nope, my form with. You're it. right. It's like not. it's good whiskey. It's pretty but good. The yeah. twelve year also exists. Twelve year might be better though. Which is like eighty dollars. Sixty. Like Sixty. Holy smokes. Yeah. So it's literally half the price of that. Mm -hmm. I think better. Listen, I was honestly hoping this would done? blow the store picks out yeah. of the water. Yeah. Because it's blended. It should. Show off your skills, you know, get your best guys to blend some really cool stuff. And uh, just isn't that, unfortunately. All right. This is, I also don't agree with your pick here. Yep. So, ready? Behind the back, turn around, catch it one handed, set it on the table, look into the camera, and say, What's up, bitch? Wild turkey rare breed rye. Ooh. I'm disappointed. I'm very let down by this bottle of whiskey, personally. Mm. Sir Matt Porter sent us this bottle. That's good. Sean likes it, and I don't. This. I don't my expectations on this were, were this is going to be wild turkeys, oh. possibly their best rye product. Period. It's citrusy. And it's it's peppery. It's great. I got. I'll try it. Dude, I can really see whiskey in there. That's fine. You know, whatever. Yeah, I mean that's pretty clean. Now it is. Okay. Okay. This is this is embarrassing. Okay. Still have one to go. I was, I want this to blow my pants off. You didn't pay enough. You know, what is that? $60? It's more expensive than normal rare breed. Hater. Cornerstone's so much better. What's the price tag on Cornerstone? I don't know, 175 bucks. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. All right, I don't agree with this one. So, last bottle of the list. Sean can say it. Ah, Wild Turkey, 17 year bottle and bond. Idiot. It is literally it's fantastic. Luden's cough drops. I love this whiskey. Five hundred. It's well, just waxy. It's not waxy. And, yeah. It's not waxy. It's uh, yeah. I've literally had this in blinds, and I knew what it was. Mm -hmm. And call that That's one. That's fair. Out. Like it just it hits so waxy cherry. I don't like it. It's good though. It's not good. It's not waxy. Which it's is waxy. Which is unfortunate. It smells like dusty turkey. No. It's so good. This is in contention for me in like top 10 bottles of the year. I know. And, it's just and for not Sean, for it's literally it's one of the biggest disappointments it's of the year. It's a myth. Um, so Sean and I don't agree on this. We don't agree on the rare breed. This is I, probably one of the ones people will disagree with us yeah. the most about, if not the old Forester. Sean I mean, can't deal with the funkiness of this bottle. It's medicinal, it's waxy, cherry. It's, it's not funky. Wild. I love funk. It's funk. Nope. That's funk. Name um, another wild turkey product like it. Uh, I'm going to say the uh, 12 year. Oh, the dusty. Yeah. Oh, okay. You so don't. thank you for watching. These were our whiskeys that we are not in love with from this year based on a few different things, but so, we're the bourbon drinks. Like, comment, subscribe, check out Facebook, Patreon, YouTube things, Instagram things. Definitely do that. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. Ricky ends the video. Proofs in the pour.